Okay, so in this video, um, we're going to construct a probability distribution for a sample proportion from scratch. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but I'll try to go through it relatively quickly. So we have three houses, and in the first house, there's three people. In the second house, there's five people, and in the third house, there's 10 people. So this here is our population, three, five, and 10. Uh, we want samples of size n equals two. Those are gonna be taken from this small population uh, with replacement. So for example, uh, we'll take a sample of uh, maybe the three, five, and then three, 10. Those are possible samples. We're gonna construct the probability distribution for p hat, that's a sample proportion, which is the proportion of houses with an even number of people, okay? Um, so the first thing you want to do, so solution, is realize how many possible samples there are. Well, we're taking samples of size n equals 2. So this is the first thing we're taking. This is the second thing we're taking. There's three ways to pick one of the houses. So there's three ways to pick the first house. And um, it's with replacement, so we still have three houses. So there's three ways to pick the second house. The number of ways to pick both houses by the multiplication rule is 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So there are nine possible samples. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take every single sample from this population and we're going to list the sample proportion. Okay? So let's do it. So the first possible sample, I'll write kind of small, is three and three. So three, three. Okay? That's the first possible sample. You take the house with three people, then you take the house with three people. Then you have to ask yourself, okay, p hat is the proportion of houses with an even number of people. Well, how many even numbers do we have here? Zero. So there are zero even numbers out of two houses. So we get zero. So that's p hat. There are zero even numbers out of two numbers. So you get zero. Let's do the next one. Three and five. If you do three and five, well, again, there are zero even numbers out of two numbers. So you get zero. What about three and 10? If you do three and 10, well, there are, oh, there's one even number out of two numbers, so you get 0 0.5. See, so 3, 3, 3, 5, 3, 10. So here there are zero even numbers out of two numbers, so zero, right? It's the proportion of even numbers. Zero even numbers out of two numbers, so zero. One even number, 10 is even, out of two numbers. Let's do it again. Now we'll do 5 and 3. Again, zero even numbers, so just zero. That's our p hat. Right, these are p hats, just like these are. Okay, uh, five and five. Again, zero even numbers out of two numbers, so zero. Five and ten. I'll write this one out. This would be one even number out of two numbers, so zero point five. And last but not least, we have ten and three. So ten and three. Well, one even number out of two numbers, so one over two, so zero point five. Good stuff. 10 and 5, it's going to be again 0 0.5, got one even number, and check this one out. 10 and 10, well this time we have two even numbers out of two numbers. So 2 over 2 is going to give us 1. So now we've listed every possible sample and we've computed every possible proportion of even numbers, right? And now we're going to write the answer down. So the final answer is a table, so I'm going to erase it and write it up here. It's a probability distribution, right? A probability distribution, by definition, is a random variable. A random variable in this problem is p hat. And what we do is we assign probabilities to each value of that random variable. That's exactly what we're doing here. We have a table. We have p hat, which is the proportion of houses with an even number of people. It's a random variable. That means its values occur by chance or some random outcome. And here we're going to assign the probabilities to each one. There's nine possible samples. So each sample has probability 1 over 9 of occurring. And there's only three possible numbers for a p hat, three possible values, 0, 0 0.5, and 1. So for 0, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Each one has probability 1 over 9 of occurring. There's four of them, so we get 4 over 9. 0 0.5 looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 0 0.5, so again, it's 4 over 9. That's a four, it's a funny four. <laughs> and then the last one is um, one, there's only one of them, so we get one over nine. And that is our probability distribution, right? There's a table uh, that assigns values to each, uh, assigns probabilities to each distinct value of a random variable. And you can check your answer because these guys always add up to one. Four plus four is eight, eight plus one is nine, so you get nine over nine, so it's one. So I hope this video has helped. Um, this takes a lot of practice uh, to learn, so hopefully that made, made some sense.